Suppose you want to get into video editing, but all the computers you have access to are potatoes, and your budget is anything but existent. What are you to do? Could that 10-year-old budget computer in your house really be of any use? To find out how older computers stand up to video editing, I'll test a 13-year-old laptop. Sorry, and it looks like this. This is an HP G6235DX Notebook PC from 2009. It features this size of screen for HD relatively playback, an Intel Graphics Media Accelerator 4500MHD, very catchy, very catchy, which delivers sharp images for photo editing and more. It even has a snooty silver finish and a light scribe disk drive. Technology Connections has a good video on this. It's actually really cool. You can make images and words on top of special disks and it's high res too. The CPU is a Pentium Dual Core T4200 2GHz, running slightly below that at peak performance because it's old. It has 4GB of DDR2 RAM, which is one more than factory spec, and a brand new Samsung SSD which replaced its broken mechanical hard drive. It also has a webcam, labeled webcam, uh, the days of 2 frame per second Skype. For the test I'll use Windows 10's built-in video editor because it's free. Windows 10 is sort of unofficially free, and computers that can run Windows 10 are abundant and possibly free as hand-me-downs, of which this computer is an example. Also, sorry in advance, I tried using my video capture card to record this part, but it wouldn't recognize a signal from the laptop, and this is as good as I can make my phone camera look in this scenario. No idea what the audio will be like proceeding with the video. I have literally never attempted this, so... I don't fully know how this will go down, but I'm sure we all know what could cause some problems here. Part of the challenge of this video I'm making in particular is that it requires quick cuts and tight editing to work well, and I don't know how well the CPU will let me work with the footage. You don't need dark mode. New video. Oh. Oh, right. It's slow. Time? What? Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Jeez, call me the SpongeBob narrator. I'm gonna be here five hours. From this point, the video just wasn't turning out the way I'd hoped, so I'll give you the basics. The interface itself wasn't too slow to use overall. The only real problem I had was playing the footage I had just edited. For whatever reason, playing the footage in the editor's player consumes way more resources than just playing a video file. The computer plays the files alone without issue, though CPU usage goes up beyond 90% when it does. When I play my edited footage, it plays in a staggered way, moving about half the speed of the regular video file. This is where I expected trouble from this idea, since even my laptop from 2017 with an i5 and, well, integrated graphics struggled to play edited footage in the player without lag. But how much does the antiquated CPU of this relic really prevent work from getting done? Not as much as you might expect. It was a slower experience overall, but it was steady and predictable. The video editor never crashed. It did, what it, it did what I asked, say, for playback, and the only technical issue I had with it was when it failed to export correctly once the video was done. This has even happened on my main rig before, so I don't think I'm going to blame it on the computer. I just tried exporting again, and it worked the second time, but of course after a decent wait. Trimming individual clips to the right length was a bit more difficult given playback was inaccurate, but I could still get a rough idea of what was happening in the clip, 
pause it and use the frame by frame controls to go to the right spot and drag the little thing that determines the clip length. Okay, let's see, let's see. It's happening. Perfect. It's happening. Okay, not bad, not bad. Could have trimmed it a little more. Yes! Yes, it worked! It worked! Let's go! Oh, yes. In conclusion, this method of video editing is an option. It's a passable option if you have no other. In total, the time it took to edit and complete the video was about 50 minutes. Now you can say with confidence, yes, I can edit videos in computers from when I wasn't even a teenager yet.